In this morning's Health Watch, we continue our series, Small Changes, Big Results. They're always at the top of almost everyone's New Year's resolution, losing weight and eating right. Registered dietitian Cynthia Sass is here with advice on how to make those resolutions pay off. Cynthia, good morning to you. Good morning. Before we get into these tips here, a lot of us talk about losing weight. What are some of the big stumbling blocks we all face, though? I think it's all about your personality. Some people need a complete overhaul for other people. Uh, just a few changes that they can make every day, day after day, is really what works for them. Yeah, and these are very simple, very simple yes, stuff here. Okay. really minor things. Let's begin here with soda. Okay, every day, if you traded a 24-ounce bottle of regular cola for water, you would save 20 teaspoons of sugar. And over 365 days, that would add up to 13 five-pound bags. <laughs> that is amazing. Can you amazing. believe that? So this is no nutritional value, and yeah. having too much sugar increases risk for type 2 diabetes, obesity, heart disease, even Alzheimer's. Uh -huh. So we want to get rid of that and definitely go with the water instead. That is a, an amazing sight here to see. <laughs> it's snowballs. <laughs> also, you say you can, we can make adjustments to a latte. Yes, I start my day with coffee. I don't mm -hmm. know about you, but if you traded a 2% latte for a skim latte, you would save 7 grams of mostly saturated fat every single day. Now, in a year's time, that adds up to the amount in 29 sticks of butter. Oh my God. Gosh. And that saturated fat is the hard, clumpy kind that tends to clog up the arteries and increase the bad or the lousy LDL cholesterol. Uh -huh. So we want to get rid of this animal-based saturated fat and eat more plant-based fat. So with your skim latte, have a slice of whole grain toast with natural peanut butter or almond butter. Use, you know, let's say extra virgin olive oil to saute instead of butter. Go with those plant-based yeah, Again, small instead. things, small things we're talking about here. Yes. In, in my house, uh, a lot of folks like this particular cereal that I'm not going to mention the name, but Tony the Tiger is their <laughs> oh, spokesperson. Oh, boy. <laughs> but, but you say that if we substitute that with oatmeal, we're talking big savings there. Actually, what you do is you boost your intake of something, dietary fiber, by okay. 8 grams a day. Now, over the course of those 52 weeks, that 8 grams of fiber snowballs into the amount in 5,840 fiber capsules. <laughs> and you don't want to be taking nah, those, right? We want to get it from real food. Now, 50% is what we get on average of the amount of fiber that we really need per day. Mm -hmm. So if all of us had 30 grams of fiber a day, and that 8 grams right there would be a good start to that, it would not only help our digestive system, but it would also help us lose weight because for every gram of fiber we eat, we cancel out about 7 calories, okay? So if we had the 30 grams a day, it's the calorie equivalent of going and taking a brisk 40-minute walk wow. every day. So go with that oatmeal in the morning, get rid of the sugary stuff. All right, buy Tony the Tiger is what you're saying. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> make, some, make some adjustments to your salt shaker. You see, yes, also. now most of our sodium intake comes from processed foods, but we like the salt shaker. Mm -hmm. If we traded that for a salt-free herb seasoning mix, you would save 1,115 milligrams of sodium a day, which in a year's time, 172 teaspoons of salt. Salt. Wow. It's going to up blood pressure, which is, increases the risk of heart disease, stroke, and kidney disease. So if we reduced our sodium intake to the recommended levels, we could cut 11 million cases of high blood pressure a year in this country. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, this is the 10% rule on yes. the plate. Yes. Every time you get a meal, take your fork and scoot 10% and just leave it behind. If you did that, you'd save about 230 calories a day on average, which over a year's time is the amount in... 300 candy bars. Get out of here. That's a lot of calories right there. <laughs> now, in this country, our calorie intakes have crept up by over 20% since the 1970s, yeah. which has definitely led to the rise in overweight and obesity. Sure. But even just a, a 100 calories a day, if you cut that, you could lose 10 pounds in a year without making any other changes. 10 pounds is the amount in five tubs of shortening. Yeah, wow. So when mom told you as a kid, eat all the food in your plate, can't get up the tea. <laughs> mom, don't. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't clean your plate. 10% rule, scoot it with your fork, leave it behind, and you're good to go. Oh my goodness, and all, you'd save all, this, all these calories. And it really adds up. All right, Cynthia Sass, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Thank you so much. Thanks.